Hey, your car guy, Bill DeBoer over here at DeBoer's Auto. I just wanted to make a quick video and talk to you about problems with electronic parking brake systems. Uh, as you may know, uh, more and more uh, newer cars all have electric parking brakes on them now. Gone are the days where you had the emergency brake in the middle. Uh, they can rip up in case of a uh, panic stop or something to try to help you stop. But nowadays everything's electric and so are the parking brakes. So um, one thing that you should know while you're driving the vehicle, you can't put that on in the panic situation uh, should your brakes fail. Uh, chances are that it will do nothing at all to help you slow down the vehicle. So you got to make sure that you use your regular brakes and not rely on that for an emergency. Uh, the other thing is if your battery dies uh, while the parking brake is engaged, uh, it's not going to release. So in order to move that vehicle, you're going to have to get that vehicle powered up either with a jump start or auxiliary power to get that parking brake released. And lastly, the most important thing is your service provider. Uh, it's not like the old days where you can just push in the caliper to service the brakes. Uh, you need special equipment like a scan tool to go into the computer system and deactivate the system so that the brake system can actually be repaired. If you don't do that, you're going to cause uh, a lot of damage to the system that would be very expensive to fix. So uh, again, just talking about the problems with electronic parking brake systems today. And for this and some other great tips, head on over to www.deboresauto.com and check us out there.